This was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I would love to. Okay, here, I'll, I'll go ahead and let you look at that. But uh, this is what Wizards whoa. of the Coast used to make Pokemon cards. What? what? <laughs> and so this is the uncut sheet before That's they go through crazy. processing. And then they straight cut them and then they curve cut them. So they have those rounded corners. Yeah. yeah. So essentially to get one of these, you had to either work for the Pokemon company or know somebody who did. And so I figured you guys might want to see that. <laughs> that Unfortunately, yeah. it got ruined a little bit. It's kind of bent in the corners and something got dumped on it at some point. That but is so cool. I think it's... one of these days I may actually just frame it or something. But yeah, that's, that's so awesome. I've never seen that, and so I thought I'd bring that along and show you. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank that's you cool. Yourself. Yeah, how did you treat. How did you get that? Uh, I worked for the Pokemon company. Oh, wow. I have been doing <laughs> tournaments for right around 20 years. Oh, uh, wow. We were actually supposed to run one in Fort Wayne uh, last year, and of okay. course, COVID killed that. Uh -huh. yeah. But we had a regional championship uh, scheduled for down there, uh -huh. and they got canceled. But I've been doing tournaments and world championships. I judge for uh, world championships, nationals. Wow. And That's then so I run, cool. I even ran some stuff up here when you told me where really? you're meeting me. I was like, oh, I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's so, so cool. But we used to run them in one of the smaller hotels not too far from here in okay. Kalamazoo. And so yeah. I just wow. jog over here every once in a while just to That's amazing. Go do some shopping. Holy cow. So you're pretty familiar with Pokemon. There's the yeah. switch. Oh. Literally just got it. This was a super interesting connection. It started out with a Switch Lite trade, which I was super excited about. And he brought an item that he knew we would love and we're super thankful for it. So I traded a Switch Lite for a complete jungle Pokemon card set and a near complete fossil set only missing one card. Um, yeah, this is a sheet. When I started doing Pokemon, I started mm -hmm. out in a small little card store, and the okay. guy that ran the store gave everybody that page so they could see oh, what cool. the cards oh, were and what the yeah. set was and all that. That's so cool. And so then those are all in individual sleeves in that binder. But oh, okay, cool. Much appreciated. And that's how it's been since they pulled out of the packs. So okay, right on. That's awesome. A few years ago. And like I said, that Just one that one, yep. You mentioned that one. Yep. I looked for one, and I could not find one. And I thought, well, maybe I can complete it before I meet with them. And it's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, I appreciate I, the I effort. I figured it's not a horribly expensive card, so probably yeah, man. too hard for you to complete that. But. Well, I really appreciate so, it. Yeah. That's yeah. so much. My uh, daughter will appreciate having That's a Switch great. to play. Yeah, I, was I, to that. I was even trying to call some people I knew at Nintendo. I was like, hey, can I either get my Switch back a little earlier or yeah. get a <laughs> Switch? The and they're like, yeah, yeah right, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this dude was awesome. Great talking to him. He's worked for the Pokemon company, I think he said for like 20 years. Yeah. Like a super long time. He actually would run tournaments uh, across the country. Literally the Pokemon trading card official tournaments he would run them set them up do all the stuff involved with that so he's been involved with pokemon for a very very long time and it was super awesome hearing some of his stories so well, if, if you're interested in too. any other systems any games or cash i i would love to make more deals okay so yeah and i have i have a lot of my staff cards still from the different events that stuff i would that's so cool so. and I, I almost bought some of my tropical wind cards and oh man was, just to give you an idea of what i do have yeah but, um and then i had sent you guys those new york city promos that are still sealed and i didn't know if you guys were interested in those you guys didn't really yeah, say anything about I them i didn't know so enough about them but yeah those those had come from they were only available at the new york pokemon center okay. when they had that up there before they uh changed it to the nintendo okay thing. and um you had to go in during the opening to get uh -huh. these within i think it was a two month span oh wow and i had a friend that lived in new york and i was like hey you want to do me a favor? Yeah, <laughs> and so we yeah. went and picked up four of them. I opened two of them and I kept two of them sealed. And okay. they were telling you, this is such and such, this is such and such. And you got one of each. Gotcha. And so you knew what the card was. Yeah. Well, um, I learned a long time ago, I just kind of move the package back and forth a little bit. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about damaging the cards. Yep. And eventually the but card will separate enough you can see the number. Uh -huh. Because the package is just loose enough. And okay. so then you can see the number and see which ah. one it is. Yeah. And wow. so, but... 
Yeah, those. Yeah, that's please, so you cool. Know, like, I mean, that'd be like personal collection stuff, and I would geek out about it. Yeah, if you want to get rid of that crazy thing, <laughs> yeah, I, I was debating so cool. on it because I knew once you saw it, it'd be one of those. Well, if you want to get rid of it, it's like, <laughs> what would I even want for it? Yeah, that's so, just so cool. I would just say if you are gonna get rid of it, let me know. Okay, let me know first, yeah. and uh, I would love to. Yeah, I definitely will. Yep. Well, awesome. That was great to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Meet you yeah. thanks for too. bringing that too. If that's, you ever yeah, have any questions good. about any of the cards you get or anything, yeah. just shoot me a message. I will. Yeah. If I don't know, I know people that do. Literally works for the Pokemon <laughs> company. Uh, great connection to have, and he's one that I'm like, we're gonna stay in touch. And that's what yeah. I do over the years. I, if I meet yeah. somebody that knows what they're talking about, I stay in touch. I ask questions, mm -hmm. and we just made a sweet trade. So Switch Light for a Jungle Complete Set and a Fossil Complete Set. And apparently they're somewhat uh, good condition. Yeah. He put them in sleeves years ago. So he's a Derek, shout out to you, great guy. Yeah. Getting a switch light for his daughter. And, yeah, uh, super nice. And that <laughs> crazy thing, what was that? Oh my gosh, just an uncut sheet of hollows, Kangaskhan oh. and Vaporeon. Oh my gosh. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, that's and, like well, way up he, there. He, like he didn't even mention that he worked for the Pokemon company. I was like, so how the heck do you get something like <laughs> yeah. that? He's like, oh, I work for the Pokemon company. Like, oh. Yeah, that'll do it. So he's had these sets in the binder for a long time. And when I opened the set, this is what was seen. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm loving that. We've got the set list on a piece of paper. He said most of the cards are pretty much packed fresh. They're even sleeved within these sleeves. I'll probably transfer them to a different binder uh, so there's no rings. But you can see on the backs, they look really clean. Minor chipping, like these are super nice condition. So definitely love seeing that. So is this the one that was in? There's the Vaporeon, yeah, so that's, Vaporeon was on that um, Kangaskhan. uncut sheet, and then... Or however you guys say it. I say Kangaskhan, Kangaskhan, who knows? I mean, that's just crazy. So, tons of Vaporeons and Kangaskhans in that uncut sheet. But yeah, these are in really nice condition, and then you go on over to Fossil to see one of... It's probably in my top 15, top 20 favorite cards, and that is this Dragonite. I love the art. I just, that card was one of my favorites as a kid. And that is the most uh, iconic card of the set. So it's really cool that he had that one. I actually have a different fossil set that's only missing that card. I do have this one that he's missing. Card number nine. What is that? Uh, is it Hitmon Lee maybe? Oh, no, wait, Hitmon wait. Top? Let's Chan? look at the list. Yeah, there you go. Kabutops. So we just need the Kabutops. I might even have one listed on eBay right now, so. I would pull that down. But the Dragonite looks so clean. The Raichu I love. All the legendary birds. So just some iconic vintage Wizards of the Coast sets. And he even said he has a base set at home. So hopefully we can work out more deals. If you're watching this, <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. Um, but yeah, this beautiful condition. Two of the most iconic sets. I'm definitely going to work on actually getting every like vintage set in nice shape and have them in the ringless binders ready to go displayed really nicely. I like that these already have the list. I think that'd be a really cool addition to have in all of them. So he gave me a good idea there, but can I get a like button for some vintage complete sets of Pokemon cards? And for him bringing out that sheet. Yes, Holy cow. got a like for the sheet. That was crazy. Okay, so absolutely crazy thing happened right after like we see this the sheet of uncut cards. I had never seen one before. I didn't even know that that really existed. Um, I, I talked with a friend and she said that one of her friends growing up had an, had an uncut sheet as well, that his dad worked for the Pokemon company. It's like, <laughs> oh, that's a crazy cool coincidence. I just saw one of those today. And so she goes, yeah, I, um, like they would, the brothers would like share it, take turns hanging it up in their room. And then the dad packed it away in storage as they grew up. So she said, yeah, they ended up putting it up for auction and it went for $30,000. Let me see if I can get a picture or something like that. And so <laughs> she gets the link to the auction that it sold for. And she goes, oh no, it was $230,000. <laughs> oh my God. Now these are very, very different sheets. This one. Here it is, including an 18% buyer's premium, $234,171. It was the earliest Pokemon uncut proof sheet to ever come into auction. It was wow. the 1999 Shadowless Holographic uncut wow. proof sheet with seven Charizards. Seven Shadowless Charizards. Oh so my look at gosh. Like, and it's, it's signed. Date enough, or no, 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 okay for color. 
Somebody fit wrote. two seven ninety nine at three fifty five p.m. Then it's signed off. Wow! But look at this, absolutely cool. And this was off hakes.com. So, Should have sold so it we were golden. saying if it went to another auction house, it could have gotten even more. But that wasn't too uh, that was too like what, too long ago, ago? June thirtieth, twenty twenty one. So wow. that was super cool. She said that like her friend's dad like gave each of the three boys thirty thousand dollars, and that's where she got the thirty thousand from. So that's yeah. crazy. Super crazy like coincidence, but yeah, what we saw wasn't worth that. <laughs>